Hi there, and welcome. Today I'll be rating my cameras that I have collected. The way I'll be doing this is that I'll give each of my five cameras a rating based on my experience with them and giving my thoughts on them, so let's get right into it. The first camera I'll be rating is my Sony Handycam HDR CX220. This is my first camera that I bought and it inspired me to want to be a content creator. I use this camera for my videos and honestly, I enjoy using it for my videos. It has a flip out screen and has decent audio. This camera comes in handy quite literally because it's useful whenever I need to record something without having to carry a huge camera body. The downside to this camera is that it doesn't have a mic port, but it isn't that big of a deal because the built-in microphone is just as good, but it isn't that great. I give this camera a rating of 8 out of 10. Definitely a good camera that kickstarted my journey to becoming a content creator. The second camera I'll be rating is the Sony DSC H50. This is my first photography camera that I use to take pictures with. I really enjoyed using this camera and at the time, I didn't really have any issues with it because I was having fun with it. But when I wanted to experiment with the camera, that's where I started to find issues. The camera's manual mode kind of got on my nerves because I didn't understand how to use it. And whenever I changed the setting on the camera, I would always get some weird lighting and that really bugged me. Also the battery life isn't that good. After a while of usage, somewhere around an hour, the battery will die. Sometimes when I use the camera, I usually have to shut it off after taking a few pictures and turn it on when it's necessary. Even with these flaws, this camera was fun and I enjoyed the time I had with it. I give this camera a 7 out of 10. This camera was fun to use and I enjoyed every moment of it. The third camera that I'll be giving a rating to is the Canon T6. This camera is what I use for my photography now and honestly, I'm glad I got it because this camera helped me improve my photography and the design of the camera is much better than the H50. The Canon T6, for the most part, is a decent DSLR that gets the job done for anyone who's starting off in photography. I enjoy using it for pictures and the colors of the camera are really beautiful and this was such an upgrade from the last camera I had. Now let's get to its flaws. The camera has a grain problem. When shooting in low light, whenever I turn up the ISO, it would start to get noise and this was annoying. But making the right adjustments helps to get rid of it. The other flaws that are notable with this camera is the lack of a flip out screen and video mode lacks any autofocus, which sucks. Even with these limitations, I've been able to get some great pictures and the limitations of this camera pushed me to work with what I had and it helped me improve my photography. I would give this a rating of 8 out of 10 because it's been a huge stepping stone for me when it comes to taking pictures and I'll continue to use it until I replace it down the line. The fourth camera on my rating list is the Sony DSC W230. I got this camera at a thrift store just like my other cameras except for the Canon Rebel T6. It's got a nice design and I love it because of the color blue. I'm such a sucker for the color blue. Anyways, the camera is like the H50 because they have the same UI or however you want to say it. It's literally the same. The camera uses the same battery and SD card but overall this camera is good because it's light and it isn't that heavy. The flaw that I must point out is that the lens is made out of plastic. So if this camera were to pick a bad fall, it'll most likely break upon impact and that's my worst nightmare. Therefore, I take care of the camera just to prevent that from happening. Other than that flaw and the battery life being the worst, I would give this camera a rating of 7 out of 10. Last but not least, the fifth camera that I'll be giving a rating to as my newest addition to my camera collection that will accumulate dust over time is the Canon PowerShot Elf 110HS. This camera has become my favorite digicam when it comes to recording video. The camera was $5 when I got it and this was the best decision I've made. The flaw that I can think of when I think about this camera is the microphone. It's decent but honestly it's not a big deal. But other than that, there's nothing more that I can think of that's bad. It's been a great experience and I would give this camera a rating of 9 out of 10. That's the end of this video. I just want to quickly say thank you for watching all the way through. I appreciate it and it means a lot to me. Anyways, that's about it.
Hope you're having a good day or night. And as always, may peace be with you.